Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about another game that I am super excited for, something that has relatively recently come up on my radar, and that is a game called Grand Blue Fantasy Project Relink, although that's a working title. It's an action RPG that continues the journey from the original Grand Blue Fantasy, a game that released on mobile devices, but this time it's coming to PlayStation 4 and it's being developed by Platinum Games. Now, I am a big fan of that studio. They do some incredible work and they've got some really talented people working there. So generally speaking, when they work on something new, I tend to pay attention. The game is slated to release at some point in 2018, but there isn't a concrete date just yet. However, the team recently showed off some new gameplay in a Nico Nico livestream. And not only does that game look really good already, but the latter portion of the video gives you a good idea as to the way that combat will work and flow. So in this video, I thought I would quickly round up some of the recent information surrounding the game, bring you up to speed. And if this is the first time any of you guys are seeing it or hearing about this game, then hopefully it also puts it on your radar too. So if you do enjoy this video, then a like would be super appreciated. And be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. It's also worth calling out that the footage they shared is still of the game in development. The developers said that the graphics will continue to improve. They're also working on some multiplayer components for the game, which we'll speak about in a moment. And as such, it'll be a little while until we get our next update on the game. But since it wasn't a good place, it seemed like an appropriate time for them to show off the basic action and give people an idea as to how it'll play. In an interview with the director, when asked what sort of game Project Relink will be, he said that they're working closely with Psy Games, the developer of the original mobile game, Grand Blue Fantasy, to ensure that the project sits nicely in the existing universe, but they also wanted to bring Platinum's expertise in action games to the title. They're aiming to create a mainstream fantasy title that ideally appeals to people that may have had an interest in the Grand Blue universe before, but were perhaps put off given that it was a mobile-only title. The game is going to offer both single-player and multiplayer modes. On the single player front, you'll play in a team of four, controlling one character while the AI handles the rest. And the action system is much like what you would expect from Platinum Games. Fast attacking, jumping and dodging in real time, while your allies support you and work with you to take down these epic bosses. The battle system is fast, with the ability to use different techniques, as well as some of the charge attacks from the original game. However, on top of that, there's also going to be multiplayer, allowing other players to join you and control the other characters in place of the AI. At this stage, it's not certain whether the entire game will be able to be played multiplayer or whether there will just be specific modes for it. They mentioned that they're planning to put in a mode where players can advance the story in multiplayer, as well as a separate mode where players take down huge monsters together. And it seems like that's what we're seeing in this gameplay, given the sort of arena-like nature. And in truth, that's the part that really sold it to me. As a Monster Hunter fan, when looking at some of the gameplay of a boss battle, the combat, the over-the-top moves, and the way that you work with your friends to take down these bosses just resonates with me. Of course, the two titles are very different in their own way, but there's definitely parts of this game that just appeals to the Monster Hunter in me. If there are loads of cool and different bosses and you can work together to take them down in these arenas, or better yet, whilst progressing through the story together, that is going to be awesome, especially if there's loot and customization involved too. I mean, it's a JRPG, right? That's surely a given. That being said, there is still a great deal we don't know about this title just yet. A lot of the information is coming out in little bits here and there, or snippets of information that we've got from interviews, and given they said it'll be a little while until they next talk about it again, we may well have to wait for something like E3 to really see and hear more about this game. That aside, they also showed off some gameplay of the town, showing off one of the main characters, a lady named Catalina, walking through one of the villages, and it really does look awesome. The visual style sits somewhere between Breath of the Wild and Dragon Quest, with plenty of stuff going on to create this vibrant, charming looking world. There's also talk of having the mobile game link some way with the PS4 game. No specific details just yet, whether it be in-game events, progress crossover, unlocks if you play both, but given the huge following that Grand Blue Fantasy has in Japan, it'd make sense that they'd be looking for a way to tie the two experiences together in some way. But for the time being, that's really all there is to go on. As mentioned, information at the moment is still a little limited, but going by the gameplay alone, it's definitely something I'm following closely now. It is still slated for this year, so as and when we begin to hear more, I'll aim to keep you guys up to date. But for now, that was a quick look at the gameplay they've shared thus far. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, and let me know if you guys have any questions. But until next time, thanks for watching, take it easy. Peace out.